the storm surge that happened today in Fort Myers Beach. And by the way, it's still ongoing. They still have an onshore push, but it's been going on for hours. And when we maximize that onshore push on this barrier island, you are looking toward the Gulf of Mexico. Those buildings, those hotels on the other side are Gulf Front. And then this is a stair boulevard going through Fort Myers Beach. The Gulf of Mexico is being pushed by the winds of the hurricane onto normally dry ground at this barrier island. And it's not just the water moving down the street, but it's all the debris that it is picking up. It is gutting the lower floors of these buildings. It is getting higher and higher. This camera might six feet above the ground. And the longer we go into this time lapse, the higher that water gets and starts lapping over the level of the camera. We expected 12 to 18 feet. The storm starts flooding above normally dry ground in this general area coastline. And it's not a surprise. And look how fast, I mean, yes, the time lapse makes it even faster, but even in normal time, the water is moving quickly. It is heavy. It has waves on top of it. It doesn't just get structures wet. It guts them and destroys them. The force of that and then wind driven and there's so much debris. So things are collecting things. I mean, there's going to be so much. Maybe 115, 116. Now it gets really bad. Even worse than that. Watch this. But then you take a look. Look at that. Is that unbelievable? It's insane, right? So this camera is mounted about six feet up. And you can see that the water is probably a little bit below that. But then the waves are crashing over that. And that's really where you're churning up things and you're really causing the damage by yeah. the waves on top of the surf. And this is a very important visual for everybody in coastal communities to realize why we call for evacuation for storm surge because the only way to survive this to ensure you're going to survive this is to not be there when it happens can you imagine being in the middle of this you, you, if you survive then you'll say i'm never going to stay in this again dr now this view is so important because it gives you a first hand account of what the storms are doing we rarely get a view like this yeah. because everyone is out of harm's way this is by the way i'm going to let everyone know, know at home this is an unmanned camera, yeah, okay? Know. This is a camera that's broadcasting on its own, but there's so much... Look at all that shit just going through. Water, ...and there's so much force behind it. I think this is really a good... So thing. much it's stuff is getting carried away. How significant these... The Lani Kai is going to be fucked. You make the point, the very good one, that this is a rare view because this doesn't happen very often, certainly not in any one particular point. But Ian provided, unfortunately the worst case scenario for Fort Myers Beach because we had high end, cat four or five borderline, large, slow moving, pushing the water into this concave shaped coastline. It's one of the most vulnerable storm surge areas in the country. And this hurricane was in just the wrong spot. Now, on the other side of the eye from Fort Myers Beach, we have our Chris Bruin, who's up in the Sarasota area, 